Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse, today, August 15th, 2022. Um, on Friday, we covered a very strangely empty court case across the street here, 40 Foley. Um, the four people charged with the uh, killing of uh, Michael K. Williams uh, of The Wire and other shows um, by means of fentanyl-laced opioids. Uh, Green Eyes was one of them, captured in Puerto Rico. The funny thing is that I, I've been planning to go to this pretrial conference, and when I went there, the courtroom was entirely empty. The trial date's been set, and the wheels are in motion. You can find the story on Inner City Press. Uh, we're covering the tail end of a trial before Judge Cronin, uh, and the beginning of one before Judge Hellerstein. But we're also covering the Eastern District of New York Courthouse. And in part, it's because we've run into some transparency issues there that are important. We've just, last week, we described some of them. Um, this morning, I found that uh, our filing of last week to Judge Comity about the pretty outrageous argument by the EDNY prosecutors under Breon Peace that sentencing memos aren't judicial documents, despite their request to two judges to sentence people for 20 and 30 years, they think that they're not judicial documents. This is an absolutely spurious argument. And we've asked the spokesman, John Marzulli, how many times has the argument been made? How many sentencing memos have been with withdrawn? Now, we shouldn't have to be paying 10 cents a page on PACER to find out about government secrecy. But if we have to, we will. And we're going to ask him again this morning. We're also covering a case of, of uh, over there of um, Mr. Ukrainsky. He's a Russian hacker. And Ang Wang, a Chinese uh, spy that worked for the police department, uh, spying on Tibetans. Um, that'll be at 2.30. We're covering the United Nations. And I do have to say, this is also related to China. Um, Today, earlier today, across various time zones, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi was given six more years on top of another sentence. From Antonio Guterres, nothing. He was a big hero of his. He had Aung San Suu Kyi on his wall, I believe, as a teenager, but he said absolutely zero about it. Um, it's pretty shameful. And uh, we're covering other things in the United Nations, including the upcoming UNGA week in September, for which no information has been provided to, to media other than to the in-house people. We demand to get in. Inner City Press.